<laughs> Today I want to talk about something else. Usually I'm I'm talking about blobbing about you know technical stuff, how to to make a wet plate negatives or amber types. But today I want to talk about the most important thing about the viewpoint, the viewpoint of a of a camera, of a photographer. That's so important. I mean, especially, especially if you do wet plate, because you can make I don't know, like three, four, maybe if you're really good, five plates per hour. So you know, you really have to know what do you want. And let me show you how I'm choosing my vintage, uh, my viewpoint. So first of all, I ask myself, what's the point of this image? What impression do I want to get? And of course it's interesting, but what I want is, is this shape to be like a sculpture. That's the first thing. So okay, you know, that's quite easy, you know, that's this way, of course, from this way. What do you want? Do I want horizontal or vertical image? Vertical, of course. Why? Because everything is vertical here. So it will, you know, it will go uh, well together if it's another, if there will be a vertical frame. So now, where do I want to stand? Let me change the lens. To so this is a normal lens, 50 milliliter, 50 milliliter, 50 millimeter lens, which is about what I have on my Vagavasari, large format camera. So, okay, we got it. We will make a vertical frame. Compare this view with this view. See a huge difference, huge difference. So now I need to choose to have some uh, sky on the back. So okay, let's go vertical, you see? Have, do I want to have like this? Or like this? What's the difference? This, of course, what's the difference? In the back there, there is highlight. And if there is a highlight, you know, it, 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 makes, it makes a bigger contrast. You always want to have a contrast. I don't want to have like that black behind, you see, that's a really big mistake. I want to have highlight in the back. Okay, this is direct view, that I, this is like sort of the best that I want. But there is a lot of, a lot of stuff in front. Actually, I brought an axe. To chop this away <laughs> but we will not need to do that why because I want to go higher I want to go higher 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 and above I will tilt down so this is actually part of the tree that was rotten here I want to make this picture a little bit more interesting and what I want to get is actually like a feeling of, a, of an aura around this trunk. You know, like energy field. Everything is energy. You remember what Einstein said. E is M C square. So everything is, everything is energy. Everything. And I want to see an energy flowing around here. All this I want to capture as an energy. Let me show you how I will do that. See? This is energy.
Okay guys, thanks for watching. Um, I run out of the water, I run out of the energy, uh, even the sun has enough of me and he's going to the west. Um, say greetings to him when you will see him. Uh, so anyway, um, yeah, that's it. I've done, I've done uh, my image, my vision of this tree. Uh, the fact is that there is more life, more living beings on, on a trunk like this, on a rotten trunk like this, than it is on a healthy tree. That's my message, that's my visualiz visualization of, of, of this fact, you know, this is what I, I try to do this today. Uh, in two weeks I'm going to Rochester to learn how to, to retouch uh, glass negatives and one of the negatives will be retouched. From it I will make uh, beautiful album and prints. And if you will buy some prints from me, you will help me a lot and support my, uh, my passion. You know, I really don't care so much about um, big cameras or um, I'm not a collector. Uh, some, many photographers have really expensive lenses and cameras and big cameras. And blah, blah. I, have any, I, I don't have any of this because I, I'm not really so much interested in a, in a gear or in a technological stuff. You know, I really want to go deeper in a, in a process or in aesthetic. And um, and I'm and uh, that's why you know I'm so passionately going to these workshops. I've spent so much money on on workshops or on education. That's just uh, bizarre. Four years at Famu. That's Prague Academy. You know now one year at Famu Academy. It's one eight thousand four hundred euros. <laughs> Tuition, uh, ridiculous. I know. But that's uh, what that's the college you know I went to, uh, you know not to talk about London and uh, and, and Benetton. So yeah, uh, so I really invest everything in my I mean I really invest a lot in my knowledge, and I hope that's reflected in the work that I've done, I'm doing. So if you want to buy it, please send me uh, an email, uh, which is written here or here, or I don't know where. And uh, yeah, and I will tell you the, the price and everything, so, um, and you know, whatever is worth today, it will be worth more tomorrow. <laughs> I, trust me on this one.